So tonight, a serious sentence for a man accused of setting off an explosive device in Colonial Williamsburg. The decision just happening in the last few hours in federal court. Stephen Powers pleaded guilty in the case back in January. The explosion happened nearly two years ago near Colonial Williamsburg. Ten on your sides, Kayla Gaskins has more on the sentence for us. Kayla. Well, Tom and Anita, we're live right now at the Norfolk Federal Courthouse, and this is where the hearing took place earlier today. Ten years behind bars. That's the punishment a federal judge handed down to Stephen Powers for setting off a bomb that rocked Colonial Williamsburg two years ago. There's no way that anybody could justify what he did. What Stephen Powers did was set off a bomb in Merchant Square on October 19th, 2017. According to the lead federal investigator of the case, it was only a matter of providence no one was injured or killed in the blast. Powers pled guilty to two counts of having materials to make a bomb and one count of lying to the FBI. At today's hearing, the U.S. attorney said they have surveillance video of Powers purchasing the bomb-making materials. With him in the video is his two-year-old son. Powers was also watching his son the day the prosecution says he planted the bomb. Also in the courtroom today, Powers' wife. She sat with her parents across the aisle from Stephen's family. Today, the U.S. attorney offered evidence showing Stephen tried to hire a hitman to kill his wife after he was arrested. The plot was not successful. Everyone was emotional after the judge's decision. Stephen's father, a local pastor, asked people to pray for them. We, as his family, would ask for, uh, for prayers and support for Stephen. He desperately needs those, and as his family, uh, we, know, we need that prayer and support as well. This has been a long nightmare for all of us, and uh, so we just ask those prayer and support, and that's the only way that we will all make it through this. Stephen Powers can appeal the judge's ruling today, although we don't have any word on if he'll decide to do so or not. Reporting live in Norfolk, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.